We're back. You take a look at the starting lineup. Sue Bird, unfortunately for Seattle, not playing out again as she is coming back. But Jordan Canada more than capable in filling in. In fact, she was a starting twinkle to get back into form. Yeah, she had a great year a season ago, an MVP candidate. Without Brianna Stewart on the floor, she had to hit the first one. That's when the switch defensively happened, and she had Sophie Cunningham on her. Yeah, the 21 points per game. Skylar Diggins pushing. And Diana Taurasi, that's where she's so dangerous. When she has the ball in her hands, she can come off screens, drain threes here. Just Diggins-Smith with the miss. Boy, that's a lot of contact. And I think they are going to get Howard as Turner crashed to the floor. Leaves her feet. Oh, she gets pushed in the back from Canada and the hip check from Howard. That's a hard fall. Mm. Good in particular, their help defense and taking away the paint. Seattle's missed all seven of its shots. Skyler falls to the floor and Joel Lloyd fell over her. Alicia Clark. These two teams meet. A little surprising. Have a slow start here. Clark got Canada just dogging Diggins Smith the whole way. Skyler gets it to fall. Yeah, it's really important for Phoenix if she has a good start. But Skyler is coming on board. It's going to be exciting to see how things develop as the season goes along. Howard. Low. She was so active a year ago. Part of it is her fitness. She's not at the level she was at a year ago because of quarantine and everything else. But has extended her range during her career. Already in her eighth season in the league. Canada. Stepping around Sky. Now this shot clock. Jordan Canada able to steal it. Up to Jewel Lloyd. Minutes go up against Chicago. Took advantage of that. So Sandy Brondello said she earned some more minutes. Griner. Five from the floor. Stewart, nice. Alana Smith picking up where she left off in the last game as well, was effective on both ends of the floor and active. But Brianna Stewart takes it right we at We talked her. about Brianna Stewart at the top of the show and here, beautiful pass inside to Natasha Howard and she's gotten even better off the bounce. It's one Shot of the we saw with her offhand. You see some subs coming in for Seattle as well. Up, not just today, but after an 0-2 start, Phoenix has won four games in a row. Jewel Lloyd buries. Shot clock at five for Jewel Lloyd, who pulls up and <laughs> for Seattle. Skyler turned 30 last Sunday. On August 2nd, Sammy Whitcomb with. There's Griner, this time from the right side. Rims out, Kia Vaughn bottled up. Vaughn left open. It's compressed season. Russell with the could get the ball to Russell. Well, that's the first time we've seen it. Whitcomb gives it up. All along the corner, Jewel Lloyd, time to shoot. Over the last few days have come to really appreciate the ESPN app. You can watch on your phone using your cell service. How about the Hannah tries? He's swiping, swiping, wow, swiping. It's like a dog trying to get the bone here. <laughs> Paw it, pawing at it, pawing at it, pawing at it. Finally, a little arm along with the. We need ball. somebody to start scoring quickly before they find themselves even further in the hole right now. Yeah, that's a great point, Holly. Yep, Diana Tarazzi only has three points so far. Griner lost it to Howard. Really good activity defensively for Natasha Howard the last couple of possessions. Oh, she would get to the team, report to Seattle, and not unpack to her To Seattle, as you take a look at the numbers, and Alicia Clark out tired to me. Okay, Whitcomb. Sammy, Whitcomb. Sammy Whitcomb giving up a lot of inches to one of the best shot blockers in the league and just flings it up there with her. Nia Coffey into Griner, who's double team, leaves Smith wide open. Super out again today with a bone bruise on her left knee. So Play. Jordan Canada with the ball in her hands, starting. And doing a little tired, and they're playing 
Perhaps the best team in the league right now. Good hustle by Diggins. You have a different level of confidence than when you know you can't. Tarazi buries it. Her grandmother Elizabeth and her mother Paula both played basketball. She said, you should see our family anytime we're playing card games or anything. Is <laughs> Griner and Stewart brought the double. <laughs> Coming off the bench for this Seattle team. Good enough to start on many others. Tarazi cradles it and drive to the basket and finish with contact. Is that, you know what means she's feeling good. Because when she is a little bit bruised and battered, she's okay to just float on the okay, perimeter. She was specifically speaking to Jordan Canada, who was the one who took that shot over Brittany Griner. Foot. Dewey with a nice steal and a perfect lead pass as the decisive second quarter. It's only a three-point game after the first quarter. Tarazi, do you give you the look? <laughs> D takes a, a little break on the sideline. A Stewie. made field goal for Stewart this afternoon. Deacon Smith guarded by Clark. Such a tough Stewart draws attention. Cunningham took it away. Really good job. First switching. I think defense. Brianna Stewart is getting in on the app tap. <laughs> so we'll have to add her to the total. Brianna Stewart, a little bit frustrated here. Double team, and then we talk about Sophie Cunningham getting under people's skin. <laughs> she gets her right in the face. And then next time down, boom. Seattle with the ball up 15. Three Storm players in double figures. Diggins Smith. With the drive and the finish. Jewel Lloyd steps back from Coffee. Long three at the buzzer for Jewel Lloyd. Tons of Holly games working. here. Uh, lots of double headers in a row. Yeah, and Holly's Holly all of them. Every single game. From Baylor. So we get to see them tomorrow against Washington, which has started to slow down after a fast start. <laughs> That's Rossi in transition. I mean, so often, just stop. Been wearing a microphone for us today, being a, being a cheerleader a lot, getting some rest on the bench and watching Brianna Stewart and directs traffic. Stewart helps behind the back to Griner. Now, oh no. Diana comes up lame after that play. Oh no. Nice drive, beautiful pass. And remember, it was her back last year that gave her the issues. And oh. Diana Tarazi's presence on the floor for Phoenix, if she's playing, makes them a championship caliber team. And this year in big way for Phoenix. Oh, the last thing you want to see. Career, her journey to finding recommended. Sue Bird, unfortunately, out still with a bone bruise to her left knee for Seattle. I believe it was Morgan William of Mississippi State to try to teach Rebecca how to take a charge. Let's just say it was very awkward. There's a long way for Rebecca to go. Natasha Howard got blocked by in the knee that she's had surgery on in past years. Sophie Cunningham going to get it over to uh, Nia Coffey. So what was a 21-point advantage is down to seven, and they steal it away. Skyler forced it. Okay. I mean, the energy coming down the floor. Great pass finished by Nia Coffey. Then Phoenix picks up in the full court pressure, trying to get a steal, and they got it. Skyler Diggins Smith coming from the backside. Lloyd frustrated. That's on her team. I got it. I got it. Stewart gets it over to Kim. Times it's a flare screen on the backside. Uh, now let's do it. But Alicia Clark stuck with hers. Sophie Cunningham doing damage from a three free throw line, seven of eight. Lloyd doing a good job of running Cunningham off the three-point line. There's the turnover. Pick yesterday in the win. Griner banks it in. But that will do it. And the Seattle Storm go to six and one on the season. The Mercury's four-game winning streak comes to a close. They fall to four and three. But the